Hey guys, Adam Harrison from Bilbo Guitars and welcome to the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. So today we're talking about something a little bit different. As you know, over the last couple of weeks, I have been working on a couple of guitar designs which have been incorporating uh, the tilted back neck system, zero frets, uh, fretted guitars, uh, electric guitar pickups, piezos, all that sort of stuff. Um, and all of those, especially the fretted stuff, all of those tend to take a long take a long time they do take a lot longer um you do tend to have to charge a little bit more for those ones um but today i'm going to show you um the guitar that i'm building at the moment and the focus on these ones these are what i used to call my hurricane range now the hurricane range were very simple uh they were uh, fretless uh piezo uh super super simple uh really um inexpensive or relatively inexpensive um, cigar box guitars made using either cigar boxes or uh, made using um, you know the handmade boxes that I've been doing which I will show you that's one of the handmade boxes that I do using the pine and you can see on the bottom I use uh, that really lovely uh, five ply uh, nice and thick uh, and the tops this is that lighter uh, the thinner three ply on the top um, so that's one of the, they're the boxes that I tend to make. They're industrial strength, super strong. Um, the sides on these things are about two centimeters thick. So they're about yay thick where my finger is. So there's a type of thing you could, you know, you could get in a bar fight with this and they'll, you'll still be able to keep playing through the night. Um, just put that back. Um, the other thing and the thing that I love using the most are cigar boxes and predominantly I tend to use cigar boxes for the more expensive guitars and I have for a little while now and the simple reason for it is here in Australia they're very expensive to get a uh, one of these little fellas uh, Hutman uh, cigar box online you could be spending anywhere near $30 including postage uh, or higher um, just to get one cigar box so to sell these like for $99 it, it, when you think about buying timber for the next I use fingerboards I don't do generally do um, uh, just the plain timber, timber neck I usually have a, uh, a fingerboard on it as well um, all the time and the effort that goes into actually building it to sell it for $99 when you when you're buying these for 30 or 35 it, it's it's just it just doesn't make sense um, so why am I then focusing on do, using some cigar boxes now for some of the less expensive builds? I'll tell you, um, for a good while now, um, and you know, if you've been following the Bird and Guitars kind of story over the last few years, we had the shop up at Katoomba here in the Blue Mountains in New South Wales, Australia, um, which was going great guns until COVID basically forced the doors to close because of a lack of tourism. Um, I've gone back to um, teaching in, in uh, primary schools and public schools here in Australia and I'm loving it and I've gone back to doing what I really loved doing before which was building cigar box guitars uh, as a hobby business which I'm loving uh, by the way the podcast is coming back we just did uh, uploaded a podcast uh, last night and there are a lot more on the way let's get back to what I'm talking about here so we're talking about simple cigar box guitar, okay? We're talking about the box. We're talking about it's, oh, I'm tripping over things on the floor. Um, it is a line box. You can see we've got uh, the corner protectors here. Um, this is a little different. You know why? Holes on the bottom. Don't you normally do these cigar box guitars with that being the lid? Well, sometimes that's great. And other times I like using the bottom of the guitar, the old Lightning Boy guitars that I used to make uh, until we ran out of and couldn't find the, the particular size of boxes. All of those guitars were made using the bottom of the box as the soundboard. I like using the bottom of the box as a soundboard because it's actually thinner, uh, generally thinner than the top of these boxes. And quite often they are actually applied timber, whereas a lot of the times the boxes are MDF. I'm not a tone snob, it's a cigar box. It's not about tone, let's be honest, okay? Let's be really honest about that. Um, I'm not a tone snob when it comes to that. The secret's where you put your piezo pickup and how you actually put it all together. That's my opinion, not everyone has to agree with me. 
So what do we got? All right, this is the guitar neck. All right, now, um, I have gone to actually cutting out the headstock, but these ones I wanted to try and do uh, more of a budget range. So you can see I've got, that's the neck. Um, all right, it's radiata pine. Um, I've got Maranti for a fingerboard. That's gonna give it some extra strength. What am I doing with this? Now, so the idea with this is we're actually going to be inserting that. Have I cut it wide enough? Just a little tight. So what I need to do here is open up, put that on the floor, just open up the holes a little bit more. So let's just see what you're doing there. Open those holes up on the side. Now, the thing I like about doing this style of build is that normally if I'm doing this particular type where I, that's the top, normally what I'll do is I'll put blocks in and I'll have the neck actually sitting on the block. I don't need to do that with this particular type of build. And it, cr it, it does create, because the box top is a little thinner as well, it does actually create a slightly more, um, I find it's a little more resonant. Um, so what will happen here is, oh, I've still got this under clamp because the glue is setting, here we go. There we are. It's as simple as that. That goes through. All right, and if you have a little look on the underside, you can see it there. Now I'm basically going to be able now to glue the piezo directly under the bridge, under the timber, and directly to the output jack. Super fast, super easy. Um, and what it basically means is that I can actually build these guitars fairly quickly, relatively inexpensively, um, and more important than anything, it means that I, I can actually sell them at like a pretty nice, a pretty nice price, to be honest with you. Um, almost, the, almost going back to the prices that I would have usually, would have, I would have actually spent or charged, I should say, when I first got into building cigar box guitars. Um, way back when I was just selling via eBay, and um, this is this is fun building, and these are wonderful little guitars to actually um, get people get people involved in. Um, you know, they're they're easy to play. Um, if you are watching this and you've never actually played a cigar box guitar before, these are dead easy to play. Um, you use a slide and uh, on your finger and you can play anything. You can play anything on these guitars. And you know they're strong enough that they'll, they'll put up with a put up with a bit of um, a little bit of a, a, a bit of a bash around. Um, I'm just balancing the center where here we go. just gonna screw the uh, this one in here. And again, you know, if you're getting into building and you're just starting out and you've never built a cigar box guitar before, these are the type of guitars that I so, I strongly suggest you get into and, and give a go because they're just, they're so much fun to play. Um, there's nothing to it. Uh, I'm about to, um, use my pillar drill to uh, drill in the machine head holes up on this side up here and the holes here for the strings to go past. Um, I'm going to be using um, uh, rivets to, uh, especially with this radiata pine, um, I don't necessarily want the, um, the, 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 the strings under string tension to rip through this pine. And so the rivets do a fantastic job. You don't have to earth these, okay, because there's no magnetic pickup in here. You don't have to earth them. It's super easy. All you've got to do is make sure that your, um, 
uh, your your two wires from your piezo are heading to the um, are heading to the uh, to the output jack, and that's basically it. And once I've done that, I'll actually um, burn uh, the the neck markings into the neck, and I will. Um, but then just give it an oil and it's ready. So why am I doing these guitars again? As I mentioned to you before, we've gone back online. Most of our online sales are for more expensive guitars up around, uh, you know, the, 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 the $250 range up to about $500 or so. Um, these guitars that I'm going to build here, um, considering these boxes, as I said, the cigar boxes are worth, you know, they're, they're, they're each, costing between 25 and 35 dollars a pop now um, unless I can unless I can get them from a tobacconist um, which here in Australia is not easy cigars are not super popular like they are in Europe or, or in the United States um, so I'm going to be looking at selling these at market for about 199 um, I don't want to spend a uh, charge any more than that for for these particular instruments um, they're going to have some little file marks in them and you know it's they're just they're a rustic piece the whole idea with these is that they are going to be a rustic piece but they're going to sound great and they're going to play great and my suggestion for you guys as i said if you're beginner builders this is the type of guitar that you probably want to um want to get in there and build you can see what i've done here now all right um obviously you know it's going to sit like that uh this particular one is a 24 inch scale length so um once i've uh once this this glue is dried on this fretboard which will be in about probably about another 20 minutes or so i'll be able to play around with it um i'll sand the edges uh, just get this a couple of little rough spots here which i'll get rid of uh and then i'll basically uh give it a couple of coats of um linseed oil and uh, we're gonna be doing markets again here in the Blue Mountains. I'm starting off with um, a nice simple craft market uh, just to get back into the swing of it. And um, I'm really looking forward to doing that. That's gonna be up at Wentworth Falls. Um, I'm hoping uh, towards uh, the beginning of next month. I don't think there's any markets on in January uh, up here. Um, but these will all be online as well. So there'll be a range of our hurricane um, fretless instruments uh, online as well and you can just get in there and uh, if it's something that's up your alley um, check us out at birdwoodcigarboxguitars.com.au uh, or birdwoodguitars.com um, you can also check us out if you want to uh, start grabbing some parts uh, for cigar box guitars we are selling parts now through the website uh, just uh, looking at some pre-made piezo uh, units uh, which are all made by me here in the workshop um, we've got capacitors, we've got potentiometers, all good, nice good quality alpha ones. Um, we've got uh, some really nice quality output jacks, um, uh, knobs, uh, guitar knobs. Um, there's a few things happening and uh, some box corners. Uh, there's more things coming through uh, as, I, as I develop and, and build the range. So anyway, uh, that's 15 minutes of me basically rambling about cigar box guitars. I hope you've had a lovely new year. Happy new year to everybody, by the way. Uh, all the best. Take care. Look after yourselves. Please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and um, you know, hit the bell for any notifications, etc., etc. Take it easy and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.